Hi guys, welcome to part two on um, my Briar repaint. So, sorry, I my camera went kind of crazy at the end and it just stopped. So, that gave me the chance to let him dry. So, he is dry. And um, now we have to do his head and then we'll do a body cover and sealer and then we'll do a little head cover and sealer. So, my head co color for him is um since I had time to let it dry it's gonna use two colors but not anymore. So I'm gonna make a color and and the color I is making gonna same thing is gonna be a a really light color. Really light. So, for repaints, you don't always um, need to have nail polish. You can, I forgot to mention that. You can use it, but I'm not in this video because, well, I like his eye for there. And that is the truth. And this tab of black in this because it's way too light. Or maybe a touch of black will help. Yes, a touch of black helps. A little too much. Um, so now I need a lighter color. Yay, a lighter color named white. Why don't we call white? And wow, actually white will work. I think. Yes, white does work. White fixed it. Yay, thank you, white. Sorry. Oh, if you guys haven't, I do have movie parts out, um, and yes, I don't know when this thing is, I've only gotten one, three other people that said that they wanted to do it, and, um, I haven't talked to them since then, so I'm really not sure about that movie, so, right now, I mean, with people, voice actors, so if you haven't seen that, go check out my video on that, and, And then I'll also show you his mane and tail color. And I think I'm going to give him just a little bit of pinking in his eye, which is going to be really hard because his eyes are so tiny, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. And I'm just going to take a little white and make a little marking on his face no more. And then dab it. Okay, I dabbed it a little much, but whatever. And I'm also going to give him pinking on his nose. Um, to get the pinking, I just use burnt sand, and I just like really mushed it out, flattened it, and just got tiny, 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 tiny. Bit, and that's also what I'm going to use for the pinking. I, I don't really know if I want to do the pinking, but I really do. So I'm going to make a really nice color that I really want to use. That I don't think it'll be creepy. More white than red. Because then his eyes will look bloodshot. And we don't want that. We don't want his eyes to look bloodshot. No, we don't. No, 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 we don't. Sorry, that's why I talk to my dog. <gasps> oh, no, no. Okay, I like that color. So I'm just gonna get something really small. Um, I'm just gonna use the other end of my paintbrush to put it on. And Got the color, 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 it all over his eyeballs. That seems really mean. But that's what you do, you just smear it all over their face like that. But, 
smear it all over. And um, wipe off your thing around his eyes, just not his eyes yet. And then start tapping his eye very lightly. And there should be pinking. And there is that I'm happy with. I was painting my hair where the money is on the lawn. Fix his little nose. And then his nose holes. I know they're not called nose holes and nostrils or whatever. But I call them nose holes, so. They're really light, so I need to smear it into, the, into his nose. I know. Sorry. Oh, oh no. That's, that's not good. Okay, that didn't even go on me. That was that was lucky. That was very lucky. I mean, I am real lucky. So I'm gonna take some and on my finger and just smear it all over him. So, alright, sealer time. So, I'm going to wait for this to completely dry. So, I'll remove the um, back in just a little bit. So, um, no, I'm joking. Um, alright, yeah, so I'll be back. Yeah. Hi. Right, so I'm back, and I'm going to need to roll up my sleeves. I like being centered more. Next one. Okay. Um, and he is. So he's dry. To the touch, he doesn't feel cold. He doesn't feel sticky. He's dry. Because it's been about two hours? No. Like a half hour, hour. I'm sitting there watching YouTube, which, which makes it go fast. Anyways, um, so I'm gonna take the clear and it did get a little bit of color in there. And I'm just gonna take it and smear it all over him. And there should be no color moving around whatsoever. It should all be exactly the same as it was when he started. I really need to clean my brush up now. Sorry, my brush wasn't completely clean, so I kind of just smeared some color. Which is not cool. Silence. Even more awkward silence. Even more awkward silence. That was awkward. Okay, so I also forgot to tell you how to do the mane. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm, I'm just taking black. I just realized that black, and I'm gonna spread out my bristles on my brush. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to squeeze it and all the bristles are going to come apart and it's going to be really nice and then, I mean, what? So all the bristles are going to start to come apart and you just kind of want to pull on them and kind of wiggle them and 
change it up. 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 He always ruins everything. I mean, not always ruins everything. It ruined the awkward silence. It ruined the song. Did I song? <laughs> this made me seem some. Oh, I am joking. No clue where that came from. So, I spit apart my bristles. Pretty good. As good as this little brush will do. And maybe it's because it's wet. Maybe that's why it's not working all that well. I mean, because it's not wet. But yes, yeah, you want it to be wet, duh. And he grizzes it as part. Okay. Now I'm gonna get in the black. And it'll give that effect since I painted my mane and I forgot to show you guys. I've already painted it with a different color. <laughs> and I'm getting to know a little spot on his face. Okay. And his tail is really nice. It already matches, so I like that. And I'm just going to take my brush cleaner and complete my clear coat. It is white right now, but I don't try to clear. Oh. <laughs> I'm joking. And to get this to be dry a little bit faster rather than waiting for all of this to dry, what I do is I'm, I take it and I place it in the palm of my hands when they're clean. And I just take it and I like take my other hand like this and I tap it really, really fast so you can clap it in the middle. And that's what will happen. And it really makes him look more real. And for the top, what I do is this. And it gives like a haired effect, so like it makes him look soft. I <laughs> I'm going to hold it in his hand and clap against it. And so now this should dry in just a little bit. I hope. And this is going to be him. And so I'll show you him when he is completely dry. So. I think, no. I have another video on him, I think. I don't know, but look at him now. So, yes, that is it for today. Yeah. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this messy tutorial. Um, thanks for watching. I'm going to clean up, and let me show you how fast cleanup is if you are as nice and neat as me in this case. Because I just want to show you me cleaning up. <laughs> I think it's funny. So, this is really all that I use. I have this, I have all my paints, and I just have a piece of paper. So, cleanup is going to be fairly easy. What I do with this is I'll show you in a second. So, first, you want to close all your paints. 
Because that's the last thing that you don't want to forget to close. Right? So, close here. I know. I don't. I'm not really closing these, but. Okay, I need to. So, they're all closed. Yay! Except for the white. The white's the only one I didn't close because it's completely dried out. And what's good? But it's a completely dried out paint. So, um, I'm going to do these. Right there. Take the water. Dump it. If you have the booklet, close it up. This is the main part I wanted to show you. Him. Well, you can just take him because he's dry. He's dry. So. But make sure you wash your brush before you dump the water. Okay, he's dry. And that's good. And then, you can throw this away if you want. And put it in the center like that. And... I wrap it, I, I actually like over here. This is how nice and neat this ends up. So taking, I square this in the center of my paper. And I start by grabbing it. And I take this and I'm going to put it on the edge of the paper. And you'll see why I do it like this in a minute. And you'll be like, wow, that was a lot easier than it would have if I would. Probably different. Just holding it. And then before you do the last fold, you're going to want to take all the corners, fold it in, fold it in, and the last fold is going to be pretty hard. And voila! So this might pop out. What is with you and that music? So, anyways, that's it. And it's really nice, and just chuck that in the trash. And then you might want to wipe down your work area. I'm just going to wipe it down with this. So, there's another thing that this would be good for you if the back side's down, that is. Take it and just wipe off your work area, and you're nice and clean, and just do whatever you do with your stuff. So, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye. Subscribe and watch part one if you didn't. Yes, I forgot to mention that. Oh yes, and in part one I mentioned this. But why not mention it again? Um, if you want to be in in a Briar movie, the only thing that I'm gonna need is your email. If you don't have Google. You might have an issue or anything where you can video chat um and or voice chat whatever and yes so go check out that video it's on my channel and it's where i have my briar thing so yeah anyways thanks for watching bye